Now let's look at um, horizontal avon adduction. Okay, good. Okay, so go ahead. We're back to the chair. So the next one we want to demonstrate is horizontal avid adduction. And I will tell you that an, alter, an alternative way to, to do this, if, and I'm talking to you like in the real world now, if Letitia, is, if it's not as convenient, because you can see she's moving around really well, if it's not as easy for her to move around, I might test you right here in the chair. Okay? And if I did that, I would not go through the, gra the against gravity. I would test you starting off right here from the zero start position. Okay? I would see if you could make the motion all the way over. Okay, and I can see that you can do shoulder horizontal adduction. I'd bring you back halfway and see if you could hold it. Okay, that is only if you couldn't get up out of the chair. Okay, in the perfect world, I would have you make that motion, shoulder horizontal adduction against gravity. So let's look at that. Okay, let's see how that would look. Go ahead, go ahead and lay it right here on there. Why don't you come down, come around the side, get your right side. There you go. Okay. I'm going to stretch this right on out. Okay. So you can go ahead and lay on your back at that moment. Stretch this right on out to the side just like this. And we will see if you can make that motion all the way over. Let's see. Okay. Great. And you can. So I'm going to pull you back this way. Let you go about halfway. And I want you to hold it. Okay. Don't let me move you. Hold it. Hold it. Keep holding it. Keep holding it. Excellent. Good strength. Um, so, now I see that your strength is normal, so I would document in on my paper. Uh, but let's consider what would be the case if, let's say you tried to make this motion, and that's as far as you could go right there. Okay. Now we have to find a surface that you can move on in that direction that's horizontal. So let's, let's find one. Come on over to the table and we'll find one. Okay, so I'm going to spread our towel out. Okay, now I'm going to get you to, I'm going to get you to more face the table here. There you go. Because I, I actually need to have you starting out at what we call our zero position for starting. Because technically, by definition, I'm looking for the full range of motion. So I need to start her out in zero position and look to see if she can make this entire 130 degree sweep across the table for her to be, to, in order to get the most accurate muscle grade. Okay? So I'm going to start you out here and let's see how far you can go there. Try to make the whole sweep, keep your elbow straight, good position, and she can. So that will make, make your muscle grade of. No. Nope. Good. Nope. Remember your gravity eliminated. That would make your muscle grade oh, of okay. poor. poor. Ah, that's it. That's it. Okay. If you could make a partial way, that'd be poor minus. Poor minus. Right? Let's say you could start it out over here. You, you were really struggling, couldn't move. I move you to the halfway. I still don't see any movement. Okay. I'm looking for things that horizontally adduct. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know that those are anterior deltoid. Pectoralis major are going to be two of the two of the strongest ones. So I'm going to come right back down here, kind of almost in the axilla. Feel for those as you try to move, and I can feel that. So that would make you a trace, right? If I can feel it. If not, your grade is zero. 